more tip on the Feroli Blue Helix. Um, some of you might have heard sometimes a bit of a squeaking noise uh, on the boilers when they first fire up for heating or hot water. Um, this is something that you can do on a commissioning process. And so we're going to adjust the ignition pressure of how it fires up. And nine times out of ten, that little squeak of noise will actually disappear. So we need to get into the parameters. Same way as normal, as per the other videos. Get your finger pressed on the reset button. 100 to come up. The left twice, the right three times. One, two, three. Press the reset button in. It will start flashing a sub parameter. Press the left hand side button to get to SC. Enter that you want to go into SSC. Then we need to go to SCO2. So SCO2. Press the right hand side button. This is for the ignition pressure. It will go up and it will go to minus as well. I found a lot of these. The lowest to go is about minus four. Go up to the next parameter. Press reset. And that's it, it's been entered in then. And this is when you hear a bit of a squeaking noise. And the way you test it, if you've watched the other videos uh, where I've lowered down the actual time delay for the central heating to come back on, you can put a hot water tap on, wait 30 seconds for it to fire back up again, and you keep adjusting it a bit at a time till that noise goes. And what I'd actually do, I'd go into SEO2, I'd probably start. SEO2. I'll probably start around about minus one. I'd open the hot water tap, turn it off, see if I hear a squeak. If I do, then I'll go down to minus two. Put a heat, let the heating come back on again. Try that water tap, and then I'll keep doing that. Once that noise disappears to like a little bit of a pip. I wouldn't go any more lower than minus four, minus five, um, but the majority of ones that I've come across personally myself, I'll get the ignition pressure lower to minus four, and that seems to stop that squeaking noise. Um, I must stress, you've got to be a gas safe engineer to be doing any of this type of work on the boiler, because you're starting to mess with certain parameters that are starting to mess with the gas valve adjustments. So if you're not gas safe registered, call the manufacturer, or call someone who knows about the Ferrodi boilers.